Hey, how are you guys? It is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. Now in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a basic funnel from where your target market is going to be coming in from to what they need to see to book a discovery call and then ultimately getting into your ecosystem via onboarding. I am not holding anything back. This will be available to download down in the links below. But if you are looking for a combination of sales and marketing to see what a real customer journey needs to look like so you can close them significantly easier, this is the video for you. Before I get into it, I do want to mention a couple things. Number one, my masterclass, there is a link down below. If you're struggling to make sales and you're looking to take the next step, there is a link down below. Go register that. It's completely free. It's about an hour long and you are going to learn so much in that time period. Number two, I have a ton of beneficial links down below from interviewing with me so you can ask in real time objections to see how I would answer them all the way down to helpful resources such as buyer personas, which I know I'm going to be mentioning in this video. There is a link down below. So we all know what a funnel is. Somebody, right, magically has to come into your ecosystem to ultimately book a call, hopefully, or you book a call with them and hopefully close that deal. And you're going to be seeing this form quite a bit, which is just my basic proposal. We want signed proposals with dollars on them so you can make more money. If I had a Sharpie, I would write that dollar sign right there. But I want to share with you guys a simple process that you can follow. I mean, anybody can follow this to go through it. Now I am taking this after this video and making it a bit beefier so that way you can say, hey, I can slap this up on the wall and I can review it time and time and time again to ultimately have a fantastic way for you to build out your marketing and sales strategy, no holds bar. So let's get into my computer here. I think it's gonna be really, really beneficial. So obviously we got this white patch here that's covering it up, but I do wanna mention, look, you have to have a target market. If you don't have a target market at this point, you are missing out tremendously on sales. And the reason why I say that is because if you don't have a basic target market, you know who you need to go after with razor focus, a lot of this is going to be much more complicated, and then you're going to come back to me and say, hey, Harrison, this doesn't work. And I promise you it does for every single company out there, especially the MSP world, because nobody is doing it. By you just implementing this, you are going to make more money. I guarantee it. So let's go through this. And I hate that word guarantee, but it's just so uncommon to be used. So this is your funnel. We're going to be coming from the top point, that entry, all the way out to a sale. This is as big as it would allow me to make the shape. So I apologize if it doesn't look that great. But at the most, we have to have your target market. I'm just going to slide this over. So first and foremost, we have to have some way for that, cu that customer to find you. There has to be a discovery process a discovery method what you choose to do for that is totally up to you that could be and i bring it down here that could be a blog post an ad cold calling cold emailing that could be networking there are so many ways to have your target market either find you or you find your target market this goes back and forth there is no right or wrong if you don't want to spend money on marketing that's okay this still works because you can just do the proactive approach of writing that blog post which if you're looking to write blog posts and learn seo there's also a link down below but you can create ads you can cold call you can cold email you can network so many of you that i've met with have joined your local chambers of commerce and i love that because that is your ideal and target market and they're all close to you which makes it so much nicer I didn't do that in the beginning and I was driving very far for calls. Took me a long time to learn that one. So that's a nice little uh, ad benefit there. So if we scroll down a little further, right, we're going to start to uncover the next part. And this sounds crazy, but you should have some kind of free offer. I follow this almost identical same funnel. You guys are my target market, right? At the end of the day, yes, I own a business too, and I'm trying to sell you something. What that is, I still have yet to figure that one out, but I do have an online course that's neither here nor there. You have to give something away for free. I give away my free masterclass. I give out free checklists, free workbooks, free buyer persona, air, like worksheets that you can fill out. This is so vital. Now, in your case, you can do so much with this. You can offer a free masterclass. You can do free training for your target prospects. Hey, we're going to offer free training. 
It might cost you a couple extra bucks, but if you're the resource that gives out the free training, you can set up a camera and record you speaking about basic protocols, two-factor authentication, why it's important, locking your server closet, basic data security, changing your passwords. The list can go on and on and on, but give out something free Dark web scans are huge, a free consultation, which is you just going through and saying, hey, this server might be out of date or based on what I'm seeing here, this server is kind of out of date. Whether or not you buy it from us or somebody else, you might really want to get that replaced because it's going to give you a hard time in the near future. There is rapid fire, rapid fire tools. They will go through and literally tell you what you need on your systems. There's so many out there. These are just to name a few, but if you can give out a free something, now, I'm sure you've probably heard that there's no such thing as free lunch, and that is the case with this. This is called a lead magnet. You have had that discovery. They have seen that blog post, ad, cold call, email, whatever, you at a networking event. They need something in return. Give them something for free in exchange for their contact information. It is the first step of saying, I am committed to at least learning something about you. And that's going to be the big difference of getting people into your ecosystem. Now, next, we're going to go into a decision. There's only two things that they can decide. They can either decide they're going to continue through your funnel or they're going to they're going to say, I'm not ready to buy yet. And that's OK. Either way, it does not matter. You can automate this entire email sequence as many times as you want. And if you don't automate it, write them out. There's plenty of platforms, as I've mentioned, with CRMs. You can have Zoho. You can have Go High Level, which is what I use and recommend. There will be a link down below. Uh, you can have HubSpot. You can have Salesforce, the Pipe Drive. I mean, the list goes on and on. There are there are so many. There's probably just as many CRMs at this point as there are MSP companies. Keep in mind, and I'm gonna I'm gonna change the camera here. Connectwise is not a CRM. I love Connectwise. It is not, none of them, all your RMMs are not CRMs. A CRM is a customer relationship manager. A RMM is a remote monitoring and management tool. They are not the same. So don't think you can use them interchangeably. ConnectWise is fantastic if you need to send out an email to people that there's an outage in the area, you're doing an upgrade, you are going to be down, some they're taking off for a holiday. That's fine. But it is not a system where you're logging calls, you're you have a pipeline built out, you are deal forecasting, you are building your email automations, you are using AI to help build in your chat sequences. I mean, the list goes on and on what you can do. They are two different things. Please do not get that confused. I see people that are like, I can use ConnectWise or Enable or any of these platforms. It is not a CRM. It should say CRM, a customer relationship manager in there. I will die saying that because I've said it so many times to so many people. Um, next, we have that decision. So if they say no, they're going to get an automated email sequence until they, drum roll please, book a call with you or a meeting. Now, obviously, many of you are probably not doing any of this remotely. You have to do some level of a call in person because you have to see what that company actually has and if you can even service that equipment. Now, more than likely, yes, you can obviously service that equipment. You can go through and provide your services for all of that, but you have to still get an in-person meeting and you need to do a needs assessment or a discovery meeting. This is meaning that you are going to sit down with that person and go over their entire system to make sure that not only you know what you're getting yourself into, but they know that you care enough to look at the entire system. This is vital. And I have my little dog Penny here saying hello to me while we're in this video. She's very sweet. Next, we have the proposal development. So after you go through that needs assessment, that discovery meeting, you should be coming back and going through a proposal development. This is meaning you are going to have a streamlined proposal that looks clean and you can send it out at a moment's notice. Yes, you have to go back and digest it. I have a video coming out in the future. I've already recorded it. This is how I know these things that is going to walk you through a normal sales process. It is a little, it is much more detailed than this funnel. This is an overview of a visualization of what I'm talking about, but that's going to show you how to speed it up. There's a video on how to speed up your 
your entire sales process, but every step along the way that you need to follow to close way more deals. You have to send a solid proposal and it's going to take you a little while to build it. Customers know that you're dealing with a ton of technology and you might be doing a massive overhaul as your first step with working with them. And they might want it right in that first proposal. I've done this where they're spending a 40, 50, 60, $70,000 on a massive upgrade for that business on top of signing up with services. And let me tell you the smile that you get from ear to ear when you close these deals and you get back to the office is in oh, it's just intoxicating it's the best thing in the world because you just you know that you crushed it you crushed every aspect of it so the next part we have that proposal we got to deliver that proposal it can't just sit here and hope that thing good things are going to happen with it so we have to get to that presentation or proposal review now i did presentation because some people like to give a nice shiny presentation that's okay whatever you want to do feel free to do whatever's comfortable for you. Now, at any point, if you lose the customer, you should be leveraging an automated email sequence for almost every part of this. There should never be a part that this person is not getting emails unless it could jeopardize the sale. In that case, you remove that automation from them immediately. Now, is it gonna, they might just get too much information and you could, something poor could happen. But for the most part, they should be getting value email after value email after value video that keeps them in line, that keeps them in constant communication and keeps adding value to that customer. You're going to present that proposal. I'm going to give you how to present that proposal in a future video. So you're going to want to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to get crazy, hit that like button and that notification bell. So that way you don't miss how to send a proposal. So you close I think I was at like a 70% closing rate with bomb and banger proposals. It is worth the investment and I will show you exactly how to do that in a future video. So you have to present it and then after that, we're gonna close the deal. This is vital. At that point, that presentation should close the deal. If it doesn't or that proposal review does not close the deal, we have to go to one more step. If they choose no, they're going to get more automated emails. They're going to be involved in your ecosystem. They've already spoken to you. They can unsubscribe at any time that they want. It does not matter. But the ultimate goal is to get them back in to get onto a onboarding, right? This line actually goes into, there should be another line here. I have to add that. But they need to get automated emails after automated emails to go all the way back up because after a certain point, there might be too much time that passes that they need to go back up to either getting free offers or to book a meeting. That is vital for consistent growth. And if you do miss, you're not going to close 100% of your sales, but at least give yourself the, the best opportunity possible to consistently have people that may not have been the best prospect for you at one point, the opportunity to become an amazing prospect and hopefully a new customer. And then you have onboarding. That's it. You, your goal is to get them onboarded. After onboarding, your job is done as a salesperson. That is the sale, That is the service team. That is your job to upsell them in the future or sell them new services or sell them new hardware. But after that, you pass that golden egg off to that service team and they are going to knock it out of the park. Your job is done. And this is a basic funnel. Now, after this video, I'm going to add more information to this on what your email sequences should look like. So if you want to grab this while after this video, there will be a link down below to grab this exact framework so you can put it up in your office and review it at any time. Because if you lose a sale, this is gonna be a great representation of saying, where did we go wrong? And you can go back and figure out your exact problem and you could say, I have an issue here. We need to address this problem right here. And then when we do, the rest of the machine works. Just like your MSP, if there is a major issue, you have, if you are realizing that employees aren't using one of your RMM solutions out there effectively, you know that that is an immediate problem that needs to get addressed and you can go address it. You can say, hey, this problem right here, there's not enough training, there's we're limited on tools, whatever it may be. You have to know where that problem lies and this will allow you to do it. So if you want to grab it, there is a link down below. Other than that, I love you guys. I appreciate it. You're going to want to hit 
first of all, that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell because I have some incredible videos that I've already recorded that are going to be coming out in the near future. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.